Welcome to today's video. It's going to be a full makeup tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right now. Something really kind of coppery, bronze, and pretty wearable in my book. I would consider this to be really wearable. I'm actually doing makeup for my 21st birthday party tonight and I want it to be just kind of, you know, chill, laid back, nothing too crazy. And this is what I came up with, just my comfort zone color palette, I would say. Anything brown, orange, red, smoky is just like... <laughs> Yes, give it to me. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I am sorry that I didn't post anything on Wednesday. I was totally stressed out with work and getting things ready because my man is here today visiting since the last time we saw each other three months ago. So it's been kind of crazy. I'm hoping to post another video tomorrow. So we will see how that goes because it's my 21st birthday weekend and I'm not sure what uh, the future has in store for me. Anyways, I feel like I had something else to tell you, but I forgot. So, if I remember, I will do it in the voiceover. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, it just it just happens to the best of us. Anyways, without rambling on more than I usually would, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I will see you in the next one. Alright, so I've already got my eyes primed and set, as well as my eyebrows done. So the first thing I'm going in with is Peach Smoothie on a... It Cosmetics blending brush. I think it's number 203 if I am not mistaken. Any fluffy brush is gonna do. Uh, you just want to be able to distribute this color all over your lid, your crease, and that'll set as a really good base for the rest of the look. I'm going with the next shade Chickadee, just a really nice mustardy yellow color on an E27. Just a little bit smaller of a burning brush and focusing that just a little bit lower than where I just put Peach Smoothie. This is going to be the second color of our gradient of our ombre. And this is also going to help blend everything out super nicely. I'm actually going in with Burnt Orange from the Anastasia Beverly Hills little palette that I have right there. And an M433. I'm keeping this super warm and kind of orangey. So, you know, super basic. <laughs> and then I'm going in with the color Realgar, also on the same brush. And this one is going to be focused on the outer crease, on the outer corner of my eye. Once I've distributed the color in the corner, like you see me doing right there, I'll kind of pull it inward just so that I get a little touch of it, just a little sprinkle of it on the whole look. But it is totally focused on the outside there, and you can see. The deepest color that I'm going to use in this look today is the shade Cocoa Bear. By Makeup Geek. Oh, I don't think I mentioned that. That whole palette you just saw is all Makeup Geek. And this is a smaller blending, blending brush. Um, I don't have it next to me, so I'm not entirely sure what it's called at the moment. Oh, wait, here. I got you guys. I got you. M514 Morphe. And uh, I just, you know, packed that on the outer crease before blending it out with an, the E27 fluffy brush to make sure everything is nice and cohesive, looks good together, etc. I'm going to go ahead and take my Bella Pierre number 35 eyeshadow brush and get it just a little bit damp with some MAC Fix Plus before going into the shade RTW. I don't know why I didn't <laughs> record it. No, wait, this is an RT. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the shade Sunset. Just a super coppery color. I don't, I, I'm sorry I didn't record me showing the color, but I ended up packing it off my finger because I felt like it you know, packed more of a punch. It looked a lot more opaque and metallic, and I was super digging that. But that's basically the eye look, like, on the main, the main show. I'm gonna inner, highlight my inner corners with the MAC, mm, oh, Darling highlighter, and a super tiny Sonia Kashuk brush. Uh, any tiny little brush to get in there will do. I just wanted to open up the center of my eyes and kind of stick with the golden coppery just really metallic look so i thought that highlighter would be absolutely perfect which i mean i'm digging it i think you guys might agree i'm gonna take that same oh excuse me that same color and apply it to my brow bone just for a little bit of a lift a little bit of a highlight i know some people prefer matte you know i could go either way but i wanted to for today the lashes i'm gonna be wearing are the ardell demi wispies and uh still one of my favorite drugstore pairs that and the Ardell or the Eyelure Marquise lashes but look how cute and flirty they are definitely one of my favorites for my face I'm going with the MAC strobe cream in the gold shade and my Lancome Taint Idol ultra wear in the shade 220 buff 
This is my tan shade. I did give myself a little fake tan for my uh, birthday weekend. There's just something about being nice and tan and glowy that I'm just super into. I can't wait to have a real tan. There's not much I can do about it here in North Dakota, but you know, it's okay. Anyways, applying that with a little concealer brush before some Tatcha Dewy Spray. I took out, not took out, I like to apply a dewy mist on top of my foundation before blending because I feel like it, you know, it really helps with the consistency, with the way that it blends out. So you can see that it's really, really dewy, really luminous, which I am super into. I look like a little glazed donut by the end of the video. <laughs> but apply that over the face and also blending out on the neck. Don't forget that. For concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Sand, I want to say. Yeah. And uh, just a little dab on the inner corner of my eyes. I've been doing this more recently. Instead of putting like a whole bunch of concealer under there, just enough. You know, otherwise I feel like it cakes up more than it really needs to. And I don't know. I just feel like this is the best thing for me, personally, in my opinion. And then once I apply that, I'm going to go ahead and set it with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 5. I'm just going to apply that with a tapered brush from Morphe, the M438, just in the areas that I need to for the time being. Just under the eyes, a little bit on the chin and the smile lines, and I think that's all that I did at the time. Because I'm basically going to, you know, bronze up the face first with another cream product. This is the Fancy Beauty Mocha Matchsticks. Just super good at warming up the face. That's all I wanted to do. So I'm going to blend that out with a Real Techniques buffing brush. Ugh, medium sculpting brush. I always get that one confused. But anyways, I'm blending that out with the brush. Just basically on the cheekbone area. And then I'm taking some blush. The L'Oreal True Match in the shade Innocent Flush on a Real Techniques blush brush. And this is basically me setting my face. It's a powder, a powder product. And I'm putting that on my cheek area to set the foundation, essentially. So... Next, I'm going to highlight my face. I'm taking the Becca Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill collaboration. This is the Champagne Pop color. Um, I think it, this one is a little bit more rosy than the Prosecco Pop. Anyways, I'm taking the Real Technique setting brush and just kind of packing that onto my ch cheekbones, which I kind of took a little bit away um, with the blush brush after because I felt like I applied it a little bit heavy. Not heavy, but I just wanted to make sure it was like super blended out. But then after, oh my goodness, I'm going to sneeze, I'm going to sneeze. After I put that on the cheekbones, I also put it on the top of my cupid's bow. And I use my finger to apply it on the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose because sometimes I feel like I get a more precise application. And if I'm really just trying to go for nice and symmetrical, not symmetrical, but you know, precise. If you want precision, if you want precision. And I also use that brush again to apply it to the middle of my forehead. I'm going to go ahead and finish the bottom of my eyes using burnt orange and a little pencil brush, smudging that out on the bottom to add a little bit more definition, a little bit more color to make it cohesive for the top. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a champagne pop and a small little brush to kind of go on top of the inner corner highlight that I have there already, just to make it match my face makeup. And I brought it in a little bit too in like the tear duct area. And then I set my face some MAC Fix Plus and set that, or not set it, but like pounced it in with the sponge so that it's not sitting on top of my peach fuzz and so I look super dewy and glossy. If you're oily, you might want to skip a couple of the steps that I took in this, but you know, I'm a little dry to normal skin. I'm taking a felt tip liquid liner and adding some of my little fake lashes <laughs> under my eyes, which I'm honestly trying to make that my thing. I think it's so cute. Like every time I see a picture, like a like a vintage picture, you know, with the little fake eyelashes, I'm like, oh, you look like a little doll. I love it. I love it. I usually just do three, which is kind of what you're looking at me doing right now. And then once I have those three, I will also add some mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, that pink tube. I do need to get another one because I'm running out and I feel like it doesn't do so well when it's starting to get low. I just I just don't feel like my lashes are as thick, you know? So I definitely have to restock. Anyways, 
a personal problem. Gonna set my eyebrows. I had them done beforehand, but putting the clear brow gel on after applying my makeup and everything, I feel like really helps to set them in place and kind of bring back the life in case I got any makeup on them during the application process. You know, same old, same old. And then once I have my eyebrows set, I'm going with some lipstick. I got this at TJ Maxx, you guys, for $8. I don't know how expensive they usually are, but it's the Kat Von Z Studded Lipstick. And this is the shade Cathedral. And I really liked the formula. It was really pigmented, really creamy and smooth to put on. And it smelled pretty good, too. And if you're looking for a cruelty-free makeup line, I believe Kat Von D is not only cruelty-free, but also vegan. I think so. You know, keep your eye out on CJ Maxx. They have some really good stuff sometimes. I'd be really surprised. Once I have the lips, that is the full look. Let my hair down. Thought I was real cute. And uh, that's all. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will definitely see you guys soon. Hopefully. <laughs> Bye.